formula. I'm going to go all black today. Let's put this on and we're going to come back and we're going to play around with some lips. I like to be educated. Hey ladies, so we have a foundation that I'm excited about using and it is the Dior. You guys know I love the Dior Backstage, the face and body, that's like my fave, one of my faves at this point. But I have the Dior, this is the forever, this is the 24 hour, this is like a, a medium to full coverage, it's waterproof, um, 24 hour wear, high perfection, and it has sunscreen in it and it has... um floral skincare with uh, sun, sunscreen. So as a SPF of 15, not too high, so you still need to waste it. Because normally when you get a foundation that has SPF in it, it only lasts for about maybe, maybe up to two hours, give or take. So it's good to have something on underneath that might last a little bit longer. But most of the time, sunscreens only last a certain amount. So you have to keep applying, reapplying, applying, and reapplying. So we have here, the two and i do have a little honorable mention i want to throw in here this is my new setting spray that i purchased this is the one size this is a mattifying waterproof setting spray so i'm excited i'm kind of a setting spray hoarder it's turning out to be i don't know what's going on but um let's just get right into it i did put on i did my brows normally i'm trying not to do my brows before my foundation i'm trying to stop doing that because i like how my brows come out after I put on my foundation, but primer I have on today is the Too Faced Hangover. You guys know I love me a mattifying primer. This is more on the hydrating side if your face is a little bit on the dry side. But I put this on. This is supposed to be mattifying and 24 hours, so I don't want to use it up anyway. So I don't want to just throw it away. And I have my brow stuff, so everything I will link down below for your review. So let's get into it, y'all. Open it up. Okay, this is the bottle. She's cute, very nice, very frosty. Um, the shade that I have, I didn't tell you guys my shade. Um, six comma five W warm. Now I had a hard time with this, and it was even harder because the lights in Sephora. I do not put foundation on my face in Sephora. I'm not doing it because one, that's the tester. Everybody's testing. Everybody's having a good time, enjoying the moment. I'm not doing it. So they wanted to um, do the little um, machine on my face. But again, I had on makeup. So he wasn't messing up my makeup. <laughs> so I have this thing that I do behind my hand. Yes, my hand is definitely lighter in my face. But if it gives me the right hue that I'm looking for, that I'm used to, then I know it will work on my face. So I'm just going to go ahead and shake for good, uh, for goodness. <laughs> She's a pump. Let me bring you guys in. Let me bring you guys in. Okay, so we're close. <laughs> I'm going to use a brush. Let's go. It's nothing like pumping a brand new foundation. Okay, looks good. Looks good. This is a big pump. Okay, we looking good. We looking good. I like to put the dots around. Smells good. Smells like um, my YSL. It has that, that floral soapy smell, like soap that you smell in like a really nice luxury hotel. <laughs> okay. I want to focus on my nose area because for some reason my nose these days be looking a little rosy, like I'm cold. <laughs> so as you can see, it blends out really nice. I'm looking in my mirror, so if I'm not looking at you, I'm sorry, I'm looking at the viewfinder, I'm looking at you, I'm looking over here. <laughs> So, so far so good. It's, it's, it blends in really nicely. As you see, it, it just blends in. It, it just blends in. Okay. I cannot be striking in, not striking out, with having these amazing foundations. And my fear is that these higher end foundations are the ones that's giving me the feels. I, I you know. I like a I like a healthy balance. A healthy balance. So you guys see, I'm putting it on. You guys are close up and personal. I gotta make sure I work this hairline. This looks great. I mean, we're just knocking them out the park. You guys see this? Do you see the glow though? Do you see the glow? 
okay? I just want to get my eyes. I got to make sure I get this chin, okay? Guys, what do you think so far? I haven't finished my forehead here because you see a little foundation still sitting there. This looks good. Like, do you all stop playing with me? Mm. Gonna make me want to go get some eyeshadows. And I cannot be running around here with no Dawn Dior eyeshadows. Why does it look like this? And I have on a hydrating primer. This is giving me that look of I put on like a mattifying primer and I put this on top. I'm looking real good. Okay. We see. We see. We see. But it's all about this right now. It looks good. Hands down. I did, um, I don't know how many pumps I did. <laughs> I don't remember. This is nice. This is going in the basket. Where's the box? Box is gonna go over here. And I kept my YSL box. I wanted to make sure I love my YSL. I don't mean to talk about the foundation in my review, but when you got so many, you gotta hold on. You gotta hold on. So let's get into the concealer. The concealer I do have in four, comma, in neutral. Now the lady at the oh my god, you talking about glass. This top, oh my god. Okay, so I'm just gonna shake this up a little bit. I don't think it's doing anything, but um, I love opening a brand new concealer. I bought a concealer and when I got it home, it kinda looked kinda messy up in here. So I was like, this like it was open. And sure enough, I went and got a new one. And you can tell, cause it, it, it just pops. Like now, boom, there the, there's the mess that I just created. Okay. After we had our 101 lesson on concealer. Okay. It looks brighter. I did try this in the store. Let's just see. Let's just see. Oh, this is pretty. I'm going to do my extra. This is pretty. She told me, the lady, the lady told me in the store, she was like, you're going to like this concealer. She said, hands down. Because I had picked up another concealer. I picked up, um, it was something with a K. It had a yellow, um, a yellow top. They have a foundation line. They have a whole line as well. I can't think of it. But she was like, no, put that one back and get this one. I'll put it back. Y'all, this looks nice. It's so neutral. It's like it doesn't have like a yellow. It doesn't have a red. It doesn't have an orange. It's so blank neutral. Y'all. But the only thing that scares me about when it's so neutral like this, it can give a gray casty. So, I'm going to be looking out for the gray. And that's just on my skin tone and what I notice on myself. So, off the back, this is definitely smooth. I can definitely see my foundation is kind of like mattifying and doing what it's doing. This is really nice. This is nice. I mean, I, I all I can say is it's nice. You guys are seeing it. I'm just showing you. I don't want to stop the camera. I don't want to even edit this. I just want to keep showing. This is nice. This is so nice. Like... The crazy part about this, I look at my foundations as some foundations that I can wear every day, something that I could wear more so in the winter, more so um, if I'm going out, I want a certain look. This is giving me every day, but every day glam because this, this right here, this concealer, I can see how it dries down before I before I continue with that. But I'm feeling real. I don't know if I'm just in the mode. I don't know. I have, I'm feeling good today. I don't know. I don't know. So let me keep on. Let me keep on. Okay. 
everything is looking good, I'm going to go ahead and get my brow pencil. I just want to get my brows back up, you know, from doing my foundation and everything. So far, so good. What do you guys think? Tell me. Talk to me. Leave something in the comments. Talk to me. Talk to me. Talk to me. We're going to use Laura because we're going to set. I need to buy some of those little triangle things the girls are using now. You guys seen that? I am so behind. I am so behind. Girl, I forgot I could have used this primer. I haven't used this one yet. Um, I got to get some of them little things. I'm behind using this. I got to get with it. I'm going to order me some. I am going to order me some. This looks so good. Did you guys see this? Do you guys see this? I'm just like patting it on. Do you guys see it? my makeup? Okay, so I've set everything. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take my Fenty and I'm going to set in the other areas. <sighs> Y'all, so far so good. I'm, I'm, I don't know if I'm just having a good makeup day and everything's turning out really nicely. Or if this whole look is just coming together. I don't know. But in my head. Hmm. Let's see. Okay, so I'm going to go in. You guys know already when it comes to me contouring. Well, I don't really contour. I bronze when it comes to bronzing my face. This is what I use. Certain things I'm just not willing to break the bank on. And when it comes to like the bronzing thing, it's like Kelly, Kelly. So I had the Charlotte Tilbury. I took her all the way back. She went back first class. Um, <laughs> because it was the same thing. I was like, Kelly, you're only spending that money because you want the packaging and just to put it together. You, you know this is the same thing. And we know when we find products that kind of resemble. And if you want, like I think I'm going to try out the Sephora's bronzer. But again, why when I found my perfect shade? You know what I mean? Why, why are we changing up on bronzers? We change up on foundations, but not the bronzer. Look at this. Watch, 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 watch. Look at that. Look at that. Why do I want to change that? What am I going to change it to? Do you get darker? Do you get lighter? Do you get gray? What do you do? You can't change that. Let me finish. <laughs> okay. We're bronzed up. Look at you. You can't tell me nothing. Looks good over here. Looks good over here. <laughs> so I did not use this because I used my Laura, but she's good. Um, I'm going to go ahead and use a highlight. I use the same brush, y'all. Same brush. I'm just going to go ahead and use this. Normally, I would, you know, try out my new stuff, which is my Rare Beauty, but she's over there resting because I've been giving her a lot of burn. But this here is just so effortless. This highlight right here, you can't go wrong. And you know what I like about this palette? This is just a little, you know, a little tip. Say you traveling, right? You traveling. And you don't want to carry all of this makeup. You can bronze your face. Let me open her back up. You can bronze your face. You can set your under eyes, set concealer, do all that good jazz. And then you got a little highlight. Now, you can flip it around and you got a makeup look. You got your lid, you got your, corn, you got your crease color, and then you got your little out of V area. So, this is why I'm like stuck. Because sometimes when I don't want to carry a lot of makeup when I'm traveling, I pick this up. I know I'm good. I know I'm good. Make it going to look nice. When I was wet, going wet and crazy last year, I took others, but this was my quick. I was I was behind. I was so late. I had to just put something on. Okay, so since we're just talking about it and we're in the mood with all of this, I'm gonna go ahead and do my eyes while I got you. <laughs> I got I got you on the phone. While I got you here, I know this is a foundation, you know, review, but I haven't done my makeup in a while, so. Let's just do some makeup together. I'm using the darker shade. I'm just going for a um, kind of a smoky lid. Nothing too crazy. Just to kind of show you, you know, you don't really need to do much, you know. Doing your makeup is just, it can be super, super simple. And just so you guys know, because this is probably going to be 
no I'm gonna do two more well I'll see I'll see how I'm gonna do it but I'm gonna start doing like get ready with me videos so we can do our makeup together have good conversation I'm gonna bring up some topics we're gonna to talk about the topics and then we're gonna do makeup I can't do hair <laughs> And we're going to do fragrance and we're going to do an outfit. So that's going to be coming up because I don't wear my clothes. And sometimes when I'm going out, I don't show you guys what I'm putting on. So, and you guys might want to buy the outfit. You might want to buy the dress. You know, I don't care if, I mean, everybody got the same stuff anyway. But I'd rather just go ahead and, let me just put some right here. I want to tune that Oh, see, one in my mouth. So yeah, so we're gonna start doing that. That's gonna be something really, really interesting. So stay tuned for that. And plus, I think that'll be easier for me to show makeup and to show outfits and things like that. And plus, when I go to work, some work with stuff, you know, we just gonna, you know, do it that way. So if you made this far in the video, you know what's coming up. <laughs> so we got all the powder and everything on our face. I'm going to go ahead and use my good gal right here. Y'all. Oh, we put, no, we can't use her. <laughs> you see, I'm getting ready to grab her. We put be using this one. Just that quick, I forgot. You see that? We supposed to be using this. Okay, let's see. Oh. It felt like nothing came out. It felt like a bunch of wind with a fragrance. Mm -hmm. Oh, something did come out. This is wet. This is something, this, this spray right here It though I don't know I like it I like it I don't know why I like it but nothing you see this okay but I still gotta spray her because I need to smell this right now oh <laughs> okay Whew. what I should have done was spray this after I put on my foundation. Yeah. Cause she's gonna be in the in the rotation. This gal right here, let me see, let me bring her back. She's gonna be in rotation. When she run out, if they have a bigger one, I'm gonna get it. But I think this is the only size they got. This is nice. This is really nice. Okay, she looking good. Skin is looking nice. I'm got y'all through the whole process because I want y'all to see this foundation. Let's go ahead. Let me find and put on my e.l.f. And I'm going to use my physician's formula. I'm going to go all black today. Let's put this on and we're going to come back and we're going to play around with some lips. Okay. Do you guys see this? I, y'all. Christian Dior is not failing me. This is a matte foundation. Like, when you want your face to stay in place, this is it. This is it. Y'all. Oh my God. Okay. Lip liner. I need something a little bit darker. We're gonna go in with my um what is this? Who is this? Express <laughs> NYX. Um I had a lipstick out that I haven't used in a while. She was out here with is she? Okay, so I can't find a lipstick that I want to show you guys because she's gone. <laughs> she's around here somewhere. So we're gonna use Espresso. It was a Milani lipstick, but we'll find her. She's around here somewhere. This is my NYX. Ladies, find you a lip liner and stick with it. Like, we can get so caught up in lip liners having the same shade, but just a different brand. If you're into that and you want to just keep experimenting, experiment. I've only stepped out the box one time. You guys know I've been a NYX lover. You see how I'm going to use this little guy down? I got me a little bit more over there. But... I stepped out the box for this one. This one's supposed to be in my purse. But she's still over here. She's supposed to be in my purse. And so does this one. This 
supposed to be my purse lipstick. <laughs> okay. Lip liner is done. We're going to use Jueva's Place. I haven't used her in a while. So this one is in Nubian Sand. I'll link everything down below for you. If you like your lipsticks more on the lighter nude side like I do, she's a good one. A lot of my nude lipsticks are definitely super nude. And I like to mix them in because you can definitely go like this, give you all matte. I'm going to hit them up with the Buxom. This is in White Russian, just so you'll know. I love this. It's an oldie but goodie, but I always repurchase it because it's just, it's just that nice. Mm. Mm -hmm. Okay, ladies, so here you have it. Here's my final look, y'all. I have to make a decision. This is hard for me. This is so nice. This is how I like my makeup to look. I'm going to hands down you know sometimes and for me to use a hydrating primer y'all this is it this is it christian dior forever ladies if you are looking for a mattifying foundation i mean i haven't worn it 24 hours but giving you that look where you're like stuck in place this is it. And I don't mean second place in a bad way. In a good way. Because you guys can see. I'm in natural lighting. You can see everything. Nothing, you know, is different. Now, I do like to do a little, like a little bit of this. Just to kind of make sure everything is kind of like seamless. You know, especially if you're wearing something on the more um, lower cut. Just to kind of make sure everything is seamless. I don't know what it's there to do, but you guys know. But yes, this is nice. Christian Dior, oh my God. Y'all, I can't keep all these foundations. I can't, I can't. Oh my God, I gotta make a decision. This here, you can't tell me nothing. Go get you some, go get, go get, go get. <laughs>